or evil wish. These cases, they are working and they're the most common cases in many believers. When I'm praying for people, I find these words a lot. Are you aware of this fact? Out of every hundred people you ever met, one person thought you dead. What have I said? Out of every hundred people you ever met, one person thought you dead. They just, just thinking you were in a coffin, just like, ah. So what is, what is a sorish? Okay, so there are people out there who, when you tell them that I'm trying to do this project, I'm trying to do, they, they actually, like they are happy with you. But when you are gone, they begin to say words, it will not happen. Yes. A very good example is the case of Goliath. Somebody say the case of Goliath. The case of Goliath. Okay, let me just give you a scripture. First Samuel 17 verse 43. So the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Did you hear that? You, you all, all the times you think that battle was happening physically. Actually, Philistine, he actually cursed David. Go ahead with the scripture. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me. And I'll give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Mm. All right. Then David said to the Philistine. Now look how he, he managed the case. Because people actually do not understand how we deal with the cases. David immediately, he had to cancel the case. What did he say? Then David said to the Philistine, you come to me with, his, with a sword. With a spear and with a javelin. But, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Now you see that? What was in the hand of David? A stone. What was in the hand of uh, Goliath? A spear. Much as Goliath was carrying a spear, he, his, the Bible says he cursed David in the name of his gods. So it's beyond the spear. David is coming with a stone. He's also saying in the name of the Lord. So this is not a stone versus a spear. It is the gods versus a God. But do you understand what, what weapon Goliath used? A curse. He cursed David. There are people right now who are very busy saying words against you. Somebody say after me. Say every word is said against me. Every word is said against me. I reverse it now. I reverse it now. I break it right now. And I break it now. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And this case is so common. Normally it's spoken when someone is angry with you. Maybe one time you said something. Not knowing that your friend was angry. Do you know what they said about you? A very good example when you're fighting with your boyfriend or your husband. What words come? Who do you think you are? You're very foolish. <laughs> Looks like someone's just shouting. Yeah. But that word they are saying that you are foolish, your life becomes a fool. So you must be very careful. Am I talking to somebody yes, right? That you, hear you. you must be very careful. Amen. So the words you say, be very careful. And one time somebody thought you avoided them. Mm. And you didn't. Mm. Maybe you were absent-minded and you didn't greet them. Do you know what they said when they went somewhere? I met him. I met her as if he's not seeing me. That man, he, in fact, it, it's, it's the project he's doing. He thinks now he's gone. It's not going to go far, that one. You must be very careful. I know you don't take these things because you're not spiritual. The Bible says a spiritual man judges all things. A spiritual man judges all things. If you're not spiritual, that's nothing. It's just okay. The Bible says it, these things are foolishness to those who are perishing. 
Say this way. Say in the name of Jesus. Any word, any word is spoken against me. I rebuke it now. Every soulish wish. Every soulish prayer. Against my destiny. I break it now. I break it now. I rebuke it now. Am I talking to you? One time a young couple came to me. And the man is a man of God. A young couple came to me. Oh, we have come here. I uh, just want to uh, uh, be mentored. I looked at him like this. I said, like, oh. I'm like, hey, you. I'm like, there's a girl by the name of Hilda. Do you know Hilda? I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in our church. I'm like, she has been praying every day that your wife must die. Mm. So you can marry her. Mm. <laughs> ah, the wife is like, Papa. I'm going to finish her when I live here. <laughs> I said, what? I'm going to finish her. I said, no, it's not, it's not by flesh and blood. I said, you don't have to do that. It's not about flesh and blood. Can you imagine someone wishing the wife of a man of God dead? Or the husband dead? So you must be very careful with these foolish prayers. You must handle them. You must handle them. There are people who wish you dead. There are people who wish you dead. I, I promise you. There are people who said, I wish he was dead. Yes. They think you're standing on their way. Somebody say, it will not happen. It will not happen. Say it again. It will not happen. It will not happen. Say it again, it will not happen. It will not happen. So I break every case. I break every case. I break every case. I break every case. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every case. Every case. Spoken against me. Spoken against me. So I reverse it now. I reverse it now. Now I just want you to look at these cases. One dollar case. Um, Adam case. Enslaving case, hanging cases, choosing cases, indirect cases, associative cases, soulish cases. Can you imagine that you are there? Some of you, all of these nine are waking. I told you, we, we have people who, th who say, if anyone being crossed is a new person, in fact, you are 100%. But why if you are hit with an indirect case? It's not on you, but your children. It's in your account. It's on your business. We are not just saved just to be, say, I'm born again. No! We are saved so that we can become the light of this world. Amen. So tonight, I want us to pray. Okay, I want us to pray. I don't know, but I, I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Listen to me. Take this matter serious. Some of you, these cases are working on your children, in your finances. Money can't stay in you, or money can't even come. You're unfruitful. You know, everything you touch, it can't be fruitful. A lot of things are happening around you. Listen to me tonight. I want to invite you to prayer. And I want you to know this. You can take matters in your own hands. Amen. You can actually say in the name of Jesus, every case today you are breaking. I command you, you are leaving. You are leaving my children, my finances, my life. You are breaking. You are going out. You see, as I'm talking now already, if you were really serious about it, you could be standing already on your own. Father, in the name of Jesus, in this month of blessing and glory, I pray that the blessing will rest upon your children. Days of sicknesses are over. Days of struggling are over. Days of suffering are over. Days of sweating are over. Days of stagnation are over. We remove every case working against them. Whatever case working against you today, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. 
I stand against every case working against you. Yes. Wherever you are right now, yes. I announce a blessing in the name of Jesus. May a blessing overtake you now. May the blessing of the Lord overtake you now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus.